Hello everybody! Happy New Year! I know I've said it 10 million times, but I just wanted to come on camera and say Happy New Year's. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for last year. It was an amazing year. 2019 is going to be the year that my channel takes off. I have great, great, um, just a great overall feeling. I have a lot of ideas in my head. I have a lot of collaborations that I'm going to be doing with other popular YouTube artists that you will all know and love. I am sure of that. Um, I have enough kitties to satisfy a bunch of people, so uh, I'm sure there will be a lot more, you know, little cutesy things here. I'm not going to go overboard, don't worry. I know this is an art channel, but I hope you guys enjoy when I do little things like that. It's just my way of letting you into my life a little bit and um, just taking a little break from the whole art thing and uh, who doesn't want to see a fat cat, right? I know I love my fat cats. Um, speaking of, somebody has decided to arouse. Now, can I get you to turn over? Hmm? Can I get you to say hello, finally? Meow. No. <laughs> Clyde is being bashful. He's camera shy. So anyway, I just wanted to stop in and say hi before this next video. I don't come on camera too often, but I am here. I'm real. It's me. And um, I just wanted to say thank you. So without further ado, here is the next video. Okay, everybody, so I am working on a 16 by 20 gesso block. Gesso block, I have used them before. They are made by Fab Lab and are sold through Joann's. And um, sometimes they have some incredible deals on these things, 70% off. This one right here, a 16 by 20, cost me six dollars i believe so see if i can do this without spilling all this stuff sides are an inch and a half thick really beautiful natural wood that i have taped because i want the sides to be natural wood so a lot of people have questions about keep how do you do your sides um one way is to tape them and then when your piece is done, remove the tape and then do a clear coat and just coat the whole entire piece, which is what I will be doing. This way you keep that nice natural wood look on the side. You could also paint the sides with acrylic paint in advance and then tape it off once that's dried and then go about making your piece, let it cure, remove the tape, and then do a clear coat over the entire thing, or just leave it painted if you don't wanna do a clear coat. I always do a clear coat. Here's the thing, I do not do it though until the piece sells. I do not wanna waste the resin unless the piece sells. So I will design my piece of art, I will let it cure. Once it sells, I will let the buyer know that it's going to be up to two weeks before they get their piece because I'm going to do that clear coat for them. It's going to ensure a nice glass-like finish on the top and it will only be to their benefit, trust me. So with these, I like to tape the sides. Now you could also just make your piece of art and let the resin flow over the sides 
and you can have a more organic look like with the drips coming down if that fits into your piece there are some pieces where it looks nice some pieces where it looks like garbage um if you do not like the way the drips look you can take your gloved hand and just smooth the resin around the edges so i need to mix up the calculator on art resin says 11 ounces for a 16 by 20. i am going to mix up 14 ounces to be safe. I always like to have that little extra security blanket in case I want to add glitter or add a different color that I didn't think of in the beginning. So I'm going to mix up all the pretty colors and I will be right back. Okay, here we go. Pretty color time. First up is a concoction of gold that I made, which was some gold spray paint and testers brand model car paint <clears throat> here is the spray paint that i used next up i have two alcohol inks both by ranger this is flamingo and this is the color stream can't really see it too well especially when I don't have the freaking cup in the view of the camera Tammy mystic primrose by color art resin art blushing lily by resin art Teal by Lorez. I think there's something in that. I just saw something fly off the stick. Uh, Peacock Dance by Lorez. Aquamarine by Col uh, Resin Art. Wild Jasmine by Resin Art. And Mermaid by Resin Art. Okay. And then I have my white, which is angel white. So, first thing I want to do is just put the little bit of clear I have left down on this surface here. It's just a little bit. And somewhere I bought a silicone brush. Here it is. I saw Leslie using one of these in one of her videos. And I thought it was a cool idea to spread out resin. Hers did not have bristles, though, I don't think. like mine does, but it should still help enough. And get the job done. So it's just a silicone tint brush. And they sell them at hair uh, beauty supply stores. So let's see how this one works. I don't know if it will work as good as hers did. I should probably heat this a little bit. You yeah, see, the, this one has bristles. Hers did not. But I thought it was a cool idea. 
let me heat it up just a tiny bit. Resin is cold, so. I didn't have much resin so clear resin on there so it's not gonna work the best I'll get it spread out the best that I can now doing something like this not that I have anywhere near enough on here for it to matter but doing something like this helps the colors slide along the board when you're trying to move them and it also promotes cells so if you could lay down just like a thin layer of clear it does help That should be good enough. Just gonna lay that to the side, deal with it after. I saw a hair here that I need to get rid of. I don't know what this is. We'll get rid of that also. Okay. Let me just make sure you're in frame. Okay, here we go. So, I have some white here. Let's see. I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of move this along the bottom here. Same up here. Okay. 
you're going to try to not let too much drip off the side because it's just a waste since I have them taped up. Some will go over, obviously, but... So now I'm going to just start pouring my colors in the center and figuring out what I want to do. I'm going to try to keep the uh, colors somewhat together. This is the mermaid. Scrapey, scrapey. Waste not, why not? Right? Especially when it comes to this stuff. Which, by the way, this is the last of my stone coat. That I'm using. I forgot to mention the type of resin I was using. Next up is the Mystic Primrose. Peacock dance. Aquamarine.
Okay. Now I have some of the teal. Not sure if these pinks are going to fit in with this, but how much I could do about that right now. Besides, go with the original plan and see what happens. My main thing was I did not want a primarily blue painting. I wanted some blue, pink and purple shades, but this is the Stream Alcohol Ink and I'm just placing this over the teal. Alrighty, now for the fun part. Whoa, 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 what happened to that color? I have never ever seen that happen before. It lost its color. What in the holy hell? I have never seen that happen before. It went from that bright, vibrant wild jasmine to pink. All right, well, let's do this here. That is very, very odd. Very odd. I've never seen that happen before. Let me open it up. Put a little more in there. Never ever seen that happen before. I want you guys to be my witness now here. So you see, it's a pink. This is the color of it. Huh. I have never seen that happen before. Wow, that was really weird. I've had some weird stuff happening lately. Well, either way, let's get this done with here. Now with this, I'm going to go... This coral's really not going well at all. This coral color, this blushing lily. I should have left that out. Let's try to see what we could do here. Yeah, 
it was odd for sure. Only on my channel will you see colors magically change. All right, and then this is the Flamingo Alcohol Ink. I'm going to just, wow, oh, that's a pretty color. Put that right on top of it. That's pretty. I love al adding alcohol inks on top of opaque colors especially gold which I really should have probably saved some of this for that okay that's it guys we're gonna move it around and see what we get here And I could tell that the me, uh, thing here is not level. It's going up that way. Pause you quick and level that out. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared. A little more white I'm going to add in the center here. First I have to get whatever's in it out of it.
of heat. So now I need to look at my picture and move it in a way that will satisfy me. There's one thing that I hate about this, and that is when you have an area over here that you love that you don't want to lose, but you need to tilt that way to get this to come out more. Oh, it drives me insane. Gonna go nice and easy. And I still have to add the gold in also. So. Before I forget that. There's going to be a lot of interest in this piece. because it almost reminds me of like alcohol inks how they get like wispy looking so now I'm just going to look around and figure out where I want to add this gold Try a little bit over here just to see what it looks like. Just a little bit of uh, movement going here. This is definitely interesting. I'm going to use a syringe on it so I can control it a little bit better. I'm going to just test it over here, make sure.
pretty cool. cool guys I'm gonna back away in a second I promise see how it's breaking up love when it does that when I do that. <laughs> Let's get that off of there, shall we? Oh yeah, I love this. Absolutely love it. It's breaking up. Oh, I love when it does. I can't wait to show you this. Spray paint. Uh, alcohol inks. Sometimes we'll do it. The gold mixative. They create their own little cells in the resin. And it is such a cool effect. It's very hard to get the pressure right on this thing though. bit just to come through here yep that's it I'm done walking away I promise just torch it really quick mermaidish the colors mermaidy just notice over here I have to fix something very quick with a little bit of something there and up here Right. Start at the bottom right corner. You see what that gold dud did? I can't even talk. Love that effect.
This is going to be some kind of special when it dries and you move it around. Some nice blending of those colors. I didn't think they would work, but they did. See, that's my problem. I get all these new colors in and then I want to use them all at once. But Very magical. So I want to thank you for putting up with me. We'll let it dry, see how it turns out. If you have any questions, just leave them below. And as always, guys, happy pouring.